When Bob Simpson graduated with a business degree from Kansas Newman College in 1983, the last thing on his mind was joining the family business. I was uh, getting a degree at Newman and, and got married that year and, and uh, uh, I was hell-bent not to be involved in the construction business. I was um, raised around it and thought that that wasn't what I was going to be a part of and I think I, I felt like I wanted to try some other things and do some stuff, and I, I did for a couple years. But in 85, his dad, Jerry Simpson, would ask him to give it a try for just a couple years with the promise that if he didn't like it, he could walk away. But Bob never did leave, starting out as an estimator, then project manager, before moving to company management. Now he wouldn't have it any other way. Proud of the people we work with and what we've got going now. And, I was the third generation. My grandfather started the company and uh, the fourth generation joined us last year. My son Jared and, and my daughter Maggie is uh, now working with us as well in communications and marketing. And So pretty excited to still have a family business rolling. The business for me was the people, the relationships that, that I found you know, with our owners, our architects, our engineers, our our tradespeople, our carpenters, our laborers, our superintendents, project managers. I figured out it's way more than a, a technical business, it's a people business and it's a service business. There's a sign on the wall in the Simpson Construction offices that explains the company mission. For Bob, it's more than a mission statement. It's the reason he's relatively selective in the projects he takes on. We choose to build for people who like you say, make a difference uh, in other people's lives, doing health care, uh, senior living, uh, worship, um, education, those kind of markets. Newman uh, kind of formed a little of that vision that, you know, it's okay to be a profitable company that does good things for people. And to say Bob has done good things for his alma mater would be an understatement. He built O'Shaughnessy Hall and the De Matias Fine Arts Center. And even though his company did not construct the Bishop Gerber Science Center, he put in hundreds of hours into the planning of Newman's state-of-the-art science building. Bob also served nine years on the Board of Trustees, and he and his family have been generous donors to the university's mission. In return, Newman has made one other major impact in Bob's life. While a student, he participated in a softball game where he would meet his future bride. She said she didn't like me the first time. <laughs> Yeah, she's a pretty straight up, honest gal that, uh, I, she wasn't quite buying my, uh, you know, my come-ons, if you will. She took me a while. She, in fact, I took her out and she said, um, I'm not even sure, I didn't think that was a date. She says, I thought you were just being nice because I was mean to you at the softball game. So, uh, anyway, it was, it was nice to, uh, her sister introduced us. And, it was a fruitful introduction as the couple has been married now more than three and a half decades. And some of the important lessons he and Anne have learned over their time together, reinforced by their education, have been inspiration for Simpson Construction. When we were married in the early 80s and decided that stewardship was something that we wanted to, to, to be a part of through Bishop Gerber and a lot of other people was just to, to give back and that you can't be a taker all the time. You have to reinvest yourself back to other people in, in the community. And I think for the most part, I, I got a lot of that grounding um, from the, the religious communities and the, the, in the schools that I went to that kind of reinforced that. So. Tonight, Newman University gives something back to Bob with the Cardinal Newman Medal, the Board of Trustees' highest honor. I could say I was shocked, I could say I was humbled, I could say um, uh, I don't deserve that, I, and, and all those things would be true, but at the end of the day, you know, any, in this day and age, words of affirmation like that are, are, are really, you know, precious, and, and I appreciate it very much.